In this video, we wish to test the conditions of normality and equality of variance required for a multifactorial analysis of variance calculation, which investigates whether the number of punches thrown by a boxer in a simulated boxing contest is affected by the level of hydration of the boxer and the bout number within that contest. In the analysis, we measure the number of punches thrown in each of six rounds, where we have three rounds in each of two bouts, and we have six boxers, A, B, C, D, E, F, and two levels of hydration, U hydration E and D hydration D. We perform this analysis through the ANOVAR calculation itself. So we go to STAT, ANOVAR, General Linear Model, the response is the number of punches, and the factors that make up the model are the boxer, here as the subject, the level of hydration, the bout number, and we're looking for an interaction between hydration and bout, so we will enter this as hydrat multiplied by bout. We will use graphs to display the experimental variation within the data. We will select a normal plot of residuals to demonstrate the normality of the data and residuals versus fits to show the equality of variance. Click OK. We will also choose to store the residuals in a new variable. And we will select storing of standardized residuals and click OK. We can now run the analysis. The normality probability plot plots the observed standardized residual values for each data point against the percentage distribution that would be expected if this distribution followed an exact normal distribution, which is represented by this diagonal reference line. And we can see that our data points fit very closely to this diagonal reference line, suggesting that the experimental data does in fact closely follow a normal distribution. And then if we look at the residuals versus fits, it is showing the value of the residuals on the vertical axis plotted against the fitted value for the number of punches. And as we can see, the distribution of residuals at different levels within the analysis does not show any extreme variation from one end to the other. This suggests that the variance in the residuals is going to be similar at different levels within the analysis, allowing us to assume equality of variance. So it appears from the graphs that our data does follow the normality conditions and homogeneity of variance, but we can test that analytically and we can see that the ANOVA analysis has stored the residuals for individual data points under the new variable SRES1. And we can analyze that using STAT basic statistics, normality test, and we select the standardized residuals. And we can test the normality using Anderson, Darling, Ryan Joyner, or Komogorov Smirnov. We will stick with the default Anderson, Darling, and click OK. We see that this analysis of the saved residuals gives us the same normality plot that we had before. But now it performs the Anderson, Darling calculation, giving a statistic value of 0.214 and a p value of 0.845 which suggests that there is no evidence that this data does not follow a normal distribution. We can also analyze the residual values by going to STAT, Basic Statistics, Graphical Summary, and we will select the residuals as our variable and click OK. This gives us a histogram of the actual residuals, which do appear to follow a fairly good normal distribution. It also gives us a summary of the data for the residuals, including 
a repeat of the Anderson Darling normality test. We can also perform a separate test for the equality of variance by going to STAT, ANOVA, test for equal variances, in which case the response again is the number of punches and the factors involved are the subject, the hydration and the bout and we can click OK. The results will be given in the session window. We see the results of Bartlett's test and Levine's test with p-values of 0.974 and 0.999 both of these allow us to retain the null hypothesis that there is no significant difference in the variances for the different conditions of measurement within the investigation. So overall, we've been able to confirm that we can accept the condition of normality and the condition of homogeneity of variance and perform the analysis of variance calculation.